The weather is warming up, so our carry rigs are slimming down. I'm Joe Kurtenbach, and this is Lock, Stock, and Barrel. As the spring and summer months start to heat up, we tend to wear lighter clothes and fewer layers. Now this can present a challenge for the everyday concealed carrier trying to hide from plain view a firearm on the body while maintaining its security. It was this very challenge that prompted me to try, for the first time, appendix inside the waistband style carry. Now I carry every day and I have a variety of rigs that I like to use. So when I was looking for an appendix holster, I went to a company I knew and trusted. And in this case, it was Stealth Gear USA. Stealth Gear's AIWB holster, that's for appendix inside the waistband, it's a very trim design. It's one of the things I like about it. It uses their vent core technology. Now this is basically a mesh, like a running short or athletic short material that helps the holster breathe. When it's riding right next to your body, you really want it to breathe so you don't get soaking wet or sweat into your gun or any of these kinds of things. It's got a layer of padding inside, which really makes this a comfortable ride. And they've done all this while still maintaining a pretty trim design, something that rides very close to the body. Another advantage of Stealth Gear's design is the way they've kind of done their belt clip. Now this is shown with one clip, although there is a second clip kit available. Uh, in fact, I may be trying that as the months go on. I'm just starting to learn with this thing. But a few of the things I like about it is that right off the bat, this holster didn't ride quite deep enough for me, but I was quickly able to adjust which hole I put the clip in, which hole on the clip I used, screw it all back into place, and we are good to go. I've been wearing this for a couple months, and one of the things I'm most impressed with is how much it conceals a gun even just under a t-shirt. Now that's a pretty light layer and we're all concerned about printing, uh, but for whatever reason, it might be the placement on my body, it may be how it fits to my body, uh, it may be the trim design of the holster. Uh, when I tuck this in, that gun virtually disappears even under just a single t-shirt, uh, which is really great for getting around in these warmer months when I can't afford to wear a vest or a jacket or multiple layers to conceal a firearm. Without getting into all the virtues and vices of appendix carry, and I'm not the one to talk, I'm just learning myself right now. I've just been trying it for the last few months. But one thing I have noticed is that I like having the holster right in front of me, kind of in my secure zone where I can see everything, pay attention, know my gun's secure. Another advantage of this Stealth Gear rig is the full coverage Kydex shell. Now, why do I like that? I like that the trigger, the muzzle, the sights, all of these are under a hard polymer shield essentially. There's nothing going to get in there, nothing going to engage the trigger, no clothes are going to get stuck in here. Uh, it's really good protection for the gun and for me. As with most holster makers, it can be kind of a challenge to keep up with the new introductions in firearm platforms, especially in concealed carry handguns. But I assure you, as soon as Stealth Gear is able to create a mold for a new firearm, the holsters are available. They're really doing a great job keeping up. So far, great design. The verdict may still be out on appendix carry, but the Stealth Gear USA AIWB, I'm liking it so far. Really great design. For more, go to stealthgearusa.com.